Hey everyone, this is Bad Nomad. This is a demo of Interactive Portraits Upgrade. So this is an upgrade to my Interactive Portraits extension that will make it easier for you to use the automatic portrait swapping feature uh, that came with the base version. However, in the base version, you had to manually name your files a certain way and make sure everyone had it in the right folders and uh, it was a little more cumbersome. So this makes it much easier if you were using that, you want to improve it, or if you hadn't been using it, but now you want to start, this extension will let you do that. So on the top left, you see this little icon next to the images. If you click on that, it'll open up this portrait swapping rules menu. Now I'm going to show you a couple quick examples, but please make sure to watch to the end because there are a couple fine points. So don't miss those details. All right. So start with, you have to select the default image or else it won't work. So if, you, if I try to start swapping rules, you'll see first I get a message to swap, uh, set up the default. So let's set the default up. Um, it has to be in the data folder. I'll explain more in a minute on that. Okay, we've got defaults. Now, for each character, just set the rules that you want to apply. So we'll take this character. I just set this one up, up previously, but basically you can add a rule and then you type in the name of the effect that you want it to be triggered off of. And then you select the portrait again in the data folder that you want it to change to. And this could be whatever you want. Um, any effect, and basically it has to match exactly the effect label that will show up here in the combat tracker. Uh, I'll show you this example of the rage one now. So we've set up this rule, right? Rage, change to this portrait. So I'm going to open up the character sheet and I've got an action here and it's got an effect. So rage, I click to apply it and you'll notice the portrait automatically swapped. If I remove this effect, it swaps back. Well, it's back again. I can even just manually type in the combat tracker and it'll update it. Awesome, right? And let's change it. What was the other one I said? Confused? Confused. Wait, yeah, there you go. So it swaps automatically. So that's pretty much the, the basics of it, really. Um, you can set up as many rules as you want for a person. You can use different portraits for each, so you can switch all kinds of cool ways. Now, I remember that the characters do need to be in the party sheet and in the combat tracker for the rules to apply. Um, also, as I mentioned, the important thing is all the images for the default and the swap portraits need to be in your data folder. And this maps to basically your portraits folder in your fantasy grounds roaming area um, where all your portraits are. And it can't be in a subfolder either. It has to be right in the basic portraits. So if you get a, full, a picture you want to use it somewhere else, in a subfolder or something else, just copy it and move it into the um, regular portraits area. Uh, but only the person who is setting up the rule needs to have the picture, so you don't need to share it with everybody like you used to. Um, and the reason for this is because of just the way the APIs were written for Fantasy Grounds, I wasn't able to get it to work where you could have any picture. So minor limitation, but most people who are using custom pictures, I think have kind of dropped it in here anyways. So that's pretty much all there is to it. You can change the rules, delete them, add them. Um, and I think that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, post on my forums. Thanks in the Discord.